Welcome to our lecture online. Our next JE main question deals with capacitors, specifically a single capacitor, which we're going to change by adding a dielectric, which does not cover up or take up the entire space inside the capacitor. Well, let's see what the question asks. For changing the capacitance of a given parallel plate capacitor, a dielectric material of dielectric constant K is used, which has the same area as the plates of the capacitor. The thickness of the dielectric slab is 3 quarters D, where D is the separation of the plates. The new capacitance C in terms of the original capacitance C sub naught is given by the following relation. And here we have four possible answers. The new capacitance is some constant times the old capacitance. We just have to figure out what that is. So, how do we think about doing that problem? Well, let's draw a capacitor. So it starts out like this, where D is the separation distance between the two plates, and we're going to put a dielectric slab in there, which covers three quarters the distance, this, three quarters the distance between the plates, like that. That means we have one quarter the distance right here, from there to there. And so this is still air, and this has dielectric constant K. Now the equation that we need for the capacitance of a, of a capacitor is that C is equal to K times epsilon sub naught times A divided by the distance between. So this is the general equation of a physical capacitor. And we also realize that these two portions of the capacitor are essentially two capacitors uh, that are in series where we can use the equation where 1 over C total is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 where this becomes C1 and this becomes C2. So all we have to do is calculate C1 and C2 in terms of their physical characteristics, plug that into the equation, and solve for the total capacitance. All right, let's do that. So first of all, we have C1, and that would be equal to the dielectric constant K, epsilon sub naught times A divided by the distance, which in this case is 3 quarters D. And for C2, that is equal to we don't have a k, that's just 1, so epsilon sub naught a divided by 1 quarter the distance. And so, simplifying that a little bit, we can say c1 is equal to 4k epsilon sub naught times a divided by 3d. And here c2 is equal to 4 epsilon sub naught a divided by d. All right. So now what we have to do is we have to plug those in here. So we have 1 over C total is equal to 1 over C1, so that would be 1 over 4K epsilon sub naught A divided by the denominator, which now goes to the numerator, so this becomes 3D, plus 1 over C2, that would be 1 over 4 epsilon sub naught A divided by D, D goes into numerator right there. So now what we have to do is add these two together, but notice the, we need the same common denominator. We're missing a k over here, so we're going to multiply both the top and the bottom by k. And now we can add them together. We have 1 over c total is equal to 3d plus dk divided by the common denominator of 4k epsilon sub naught times a. And let's see here. We can then say that C total is equal to the inverse, that puts 4K epsilon sub naught A in the numerator, divided by, we can factor out a D, times 3 plus K in the denominator. And then we have to realize that the original capacitor, so C, the original capacitor with just air in there, was equal to epsilon sub naught A over D, because K would be 1 if the whole capacitor was air, so this was the original capacitor, let's call it C sub naught. And so therefore we see that e, epsilon sub naught A divided by D is the original capacitor, so C total or the new capacitor is equal to 4K divided by 3 plus K times epsilon sub naught A over D, which becomes the original capacitor. And now you can see that one of the answers, let's see here, 4K over K plus 3, it looks like A is the answer that we obtained, this was the constant in front of the original capacitance to give us the 
new capacitor. And that is how it's done. I don't know if you could do this in three minutes. There's quite a bit of work, but at least that's the fastest way to do it. I think.